Hello, it's what's going on people. In this video, I'm going to show you a strategy on how to take on the uh, the Magic Kingdom Park at Walt Disney World with minimal, minimal queuing. Um, I use this strategy every time I go. I've been going for like 20 years now. And uh, yeah, it works a treat. I've, I've worked, used this strategy on busy days, quiet days. So you know, just go for a quick overview of the park. Obviously, you've got the entrance down here. It's Main Street, USA. See the statue of Walt and uh, Mickey, the castle. So let's go to the start of the right. We've got Tomorrowland. Uh, from there, we have Fantasyland, Liberty Square. On from Liberty Square is Frontierland, and just below that is Adventureland. So the first thing, first, first thing, most important thing you need to do is get to the park for opening. You want to have your car parked in the car park for half past eight. No, that's the only way this will work. Or well, half past eight, quarter to eight. But really, you need to be in the park for nine. For, you know, if you really just want to avoid lines. So, uh, first thing you do is get in the park. You're going to do all your photos around this area here. You're probably going to go up here. Have your photo taken in front of the statue there. Have your photo taken in front of the castle. So, the first thing you do, you're going to go through the castle. And I always stop off at the Peter Pan ride first, which is around here. This is where you're going to get your your first fast pass because the uh, the fast pass I see people when I'm at the park first thing use them on stupid rides which you don't need to. This is one of the rides one of the rides that gets the biggest lines within like an hour two hours it's going to be like seventy minutes. So we yeah first thing you'll do is get a fast pass and uh, with any luck your fast pass will be like before nine o'clock before sorry before ten o'clock anyway. From there anyway you're gonna you're gonna jump through you're gonna go all the way to Frontierland. And uh, you're going to knock out two of the mountains straight away. You're going to do splat, splat. Well, it doesn't matter what order you're doing them. You're going to walk on both of these rides anyway. So uh, you're going to go straight to Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And then from there, this is what I usually mission it right, right away around the park over to Space Mountain. And uh, normally, on a normal day, you'll pretty much walk onto Space Mountain as well by this time. Uh, if it's a busy day, occasionally there may be a bit of a line, so it may be worth getting a fast pass for Space Mountain. But chances are, any anyway, by the time you've walked over to Space Mountain, you'll be ready for your Peter Pan fast pass, and so you're ready to get a new fast pass for Spain for Space Mountain anyway. From there, for the most part, it's pretty much free, like free reign with where you go. I normally from Space Mountain go to uh, the uh, Tomorrowland Speedway. And then stroll down to Buzz Lightyear, Stitch and Monsters Inc, which are um, around here, and never have a line anyway. So those rides you're free to do at your own leisure. Uh, the Astro Blasters, which are in the middle here, I would recommend leaving them for late afternoon after the parade sometime. Also, the Carousel of Progress is another one you're free to do at your own leisure because there's never any lines. So normally, once I've sort of smashed out this area, I then pace obviously in between doing these rides with like minimal lines you'll see what you're gonna have to go back to uh, fancy land and do the uh the peter pan so once assuming we've done space money and peter pan i see you avoid all the rides in the fancy land area um, i would normally stroll fr stroll down to adventure land get a fast pass for the jungle cruise because that's another one that um gets longish lines so obviously whilst, you, whilst you're waiting for uh, your fast pass for that You've obviously got the Haunted Mansion, which rarely, rarely has a line. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, again, rarely has a line. Both of them rides, if they do have a line, it is, uh, you know, it's really, really short. So that's not going to be a problem. So, yeah, you're free to do uh, those things around that area. I mean, and, you know, by doing this, this is going to take you up to 2 o'clock. So, you obviously, you've got time to watch the 3 o'clock parade. And then, uh, yeah, like... To do the the, you know, the kiddie rides in the Fantasyland area, you're best waiting until uh, after the parade. That's when a lot a lot of you know people people the kids they uh they go home go back to hotels or whatever um, for a rest. And so yeah, like after the parade, really you're you're pretty much you know you've done all the main rides and you're free just to go about all these rides dotted about, which you know rarely have which you have like no lines and you know that you're just free to do them at your own leisure, and, you know. With your fast passes, if you want to re-ride Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, or Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, you know, for, for the rest of the day, use your fast passes. But, you know, n never line up for them. 
uh, yes, that's pretty much my uh, my tips for getting the main stuff out of the way in Magic Kingdom without uh, lining up. I'm going to be uploading more videos for the rest of the parks. So uh, yeah, if you if you enjoyed, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.